We've done our channel set, and we're ready to move on to setting the center stone. So we're setting these in V prongs. These are going to be a little different from anything you've experienced thus far, and they're going to take a little special care. So you can see when you place your stone on top, just to check general proportion, we're looking for a 10 to 15% overhang. And so if you don't have this, you're going to want to make some adjustments. Uh, you're going to want to bring your prongs in a little bit or out a little bit to achieve these dimensions. And of course, we're going to want to look at it from the side profile so that we can move them incrementally out and evenly so that our center stone stays square in the center of the setting and doesn't get twisted, right? We are going to burr just starting in the corners, okay? We're going to remove about 10%. Making a shallow 10% bearing to start with gives us the opportunity to make corrections before we finish. This next section is deburring. This is an aspect of stone setting that is really easily and commonly overlooked in our industry. Taking your graver and just flipping off a little bit of a burring really can make your work stand apart when you're out there in the field doing the stone setting. So it's a pretty easy step to cover, but it's little pretty easy stuff to forget sometimes too, right? 40% is the ultimate depth, and so this is the point where you want to start making any further adjustments. If you place your stone up there and you don't think you can achieve 40% removal of metal and get the stone in there, um, you're going to have to adjust out perhaps, or adjust in a little bit. So we're checking the stone for looseness at the end of this process, and we do want it tight after we've gone and impact. So before any hammering, we've been able to push these prongs in, whether using parallels or a prong pusher. We push the prong tips down to the point where each chevron is touching the stone. Each leg of that V prong is touching the stone and it's tight. It's not moving anymore and all we need to think about now is closing any gaps in the bearing. Because of the hardness of the sterling silver, it's more valuable. So when you bring those parallel pliers in to start slowly tacking in those four prongs, even though they look thick, they might get some of that sway or shifting. So um, work that really gradually and carefully from both sides as you bring it all in.